Welcome back to Ricky Does It, where today I'll be making a haunted doll out of construction paper. For this, I'll need a pencil, a pen, some scissors, a glue stick, some colored pencils and crayons, and of course, construction paper. So off the bat, I'll be using my blank child template, which, as a smaller character, will help keep her proportional to all our other friends. And if you're wondering why I made her head kind of pear-shaped, it's so it'll look like her hair is covering her ears when I get to that part. Now her dress, I'm just going to make it this dingy, kind of old blue jean color. Actually, let me do her sleeves too while I'm at it. And I really just want it to look like the kind of dress you'd find on a creepy old doll. So I'm going to give it this big white collar, and I'm totally having Pennywise flashbacks. Now when I'm cutting this part of the collar, I really just hold my scissors in one place, keeping a constant pressure, and just rock the paper back and forth through the shears. So let's get all that together. I just realized, if this is our adult template, and this is our child, she's going to be this tall, which isn't that much smaller than an adult. So if we're talking about a doll here, we're going to want something smaller. Now I don't think I want her quite as small as Gizmo, but maybe about as tall as Stripe. So let's see if we could just trim her down a bit. Yeah, I think that'll work. So let's get those legs and feet, and do them two at a time. Now I'm just going to cut out a strip of lace for her sleeves, and cut it down to size. Now let's get her set up with a nice pair of Mary Janes. And I'm going to do her arms and hands two at a time as well. But those little fingers might be a bit tricky. I gotta say, for scary hands that are going to get you, these are pretty adorable. Now this hair, I'm just going to make it kind of full and wavy. And now, I'm just going to cut her out some bangs and trim down her head a bit to make it work. So I kind of love how at this point, we're just making an adorable little paper doll. Like she really looks like she just wants to give you a big old hug, doesn't she? Now there's not a whole lot of drawing we need to do here, so let's get her face laid out. And I'm going to cut out the whites of her eyes. And her teeth. Trim that grin down just a bit. <laughs> that looks great. So let's get that all glued on. And now, I'm just going to struggle trying to get the reds of her eyes both round and the same size. So here's a quick montage of that. And just before I'm about to give up and just color them in, I get something I could work with. You still want that hug? And now we color. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for all future videos. And why not give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who's awesome? I'm going to use a colored pencil on her face for a bit more precision. And I just really want some dark shadows around her eyes and on the sides of her mouth, just to give her a real aged and spooky look. I'm also going to make those cheeks nice and pink, the way an old doll would be painted. And now we ink. And I was trying to figure out what I wanted to name her. Dolly just seems a bit basic and on the nose, even if it does follow the same pattern as Vamps the Vampire, Wolfie the Wolfman, and Mumsy the Mummy. But then it hit me. Veronica haunts much. Rolls right off the tongue. And now her face. <laughs> I love it. So let me just get some cracks in there, as if she weren't creepy enough. And there she is, our haunted doll. So let's get a few friends of different sizes out here. And I really think she rounds out the gang quite nicely. I still plan on making one more video before Halloween. So, fingers crossed. And if there's anyone else you'd like to see me make, let me know in the comments, and yeah, thanks for watching! Click here to watch the playlist I just mentioned. Click down here for my latest video and what YouTube thinks you'd like to watch next. And be sure to subscribe for all future videos. See you soon!